Welcome to the map Vault in a 2v2 gameplay between four amazing players in a great matchup between the Mordor player Dunedain, his ally the Rohan player Nero, against the Mordor player Krixos, and his ally the Gondor player Bivellini. So it's Gondor and Mordor versus Rohan and Mordor, and Mordor on this map is pretty powerful. Let's see who's gonna pull this off. At the bottom side we have a Mordor against Rohan situation, and at the top side we have Mordor against Gondor situation. So it's not Mordor facing against Mordor, that's pretty fun. Because it's not fun when you have on each side Mordor, you know, like bottom against bottom. That would just not be fun. The peasants are rushing forward with the Hobbit. And their goal, of course, is going to be to destroy this lumber mill. But it's not going to be possible because it's a 2v1 situation or play opening for Mordor. Same also for Dunedain. The soldiers have been sent forward. There comes the early heal. And there is also the Eye of Sauron from the Blue Mother player to buff those soldiers a little bit. Remember, the Eye will also give you the combat experience. So if he doesn't demolish the structure in time, um, it will feed a level 2 to the soldiers. That's the last thing you want to deal at the beginning of the game. And it looks like he won't be demolishing that in time. And the soldiers of Gondor will hit level 2. That's a huge power spike. And these soldiers can easily clear clear up now for 5 battalions of orcs if they stay in a good position. In the meantime, the Rohan player was able to destroy the uh, lumber mill from the Mordor player Krixos. Who was able to get some slaughterhouse up on the field. Because he was, um, you know, having this settlement over there and this settlement over there. And of course, these lumber mills will give you the wood bonus, making your structures a bit cheaper. And I believe also that the uh, Rohan player will be able to win this fight. Um, by the way, the Rohan player was giving these two settlements to his ally. So this Mordor is going to be incredible rich. Uh, pretty much the same situation also goes for the teamwork. So the Gunner player was giving his backside mill to the Mordor ally. So he has also three Lambert mills which are going to be um, safe for now. But Hobbit was able to clear all these workers from this lumber mill. As we are talking, this lumber mill is giving Mordor exactly zero resources. But look at this beast, boys. He has four slaughterhouse, orc pit, going for the fifth slaughterhouse, and a Haradrim palace too for the creeping. Outpost control is essential in this game. This model has a very similar situation to his ally. And the Hobbit was able to get cloaked, that means he won't be able to recapture the settlement before he will use the Eye of Sauron to reveal the cloaked Hobbit. And he's trying to creep this with the Orcs. He should be able to do that, I mean at least get the creep and get the money. And that's gonna be super helpful. Haradrim Palace again, the reason for that is to capture the outposts and put them in. And full base for Mordor, and also full base for this Mordor. The Mordor players are in a very similar situation. And Gondor has, uh, you know, not that much money, but I think Rohan has even less because he has only one farm outside. This Gondor has still two farms outside, and that's pretty good. Going for the horse number two, the first horse was sent immediately forward. That's what you are supposed to do to destroy the enemy lumber mills, because the last thing you want to do is to deal with an early Nazgul when you are not even ready to fight for the map control, which Mordor can definitely pull off with these two lumber mills, which are untouched. They are almost level two. So they help the green model player Dunedain quite a bit. Um, overall, about this matchup, it definitely... Oh, there comes Eye of Sauron. You want to clear up the Hobbit a little bit. And Mary will fall for sure. But this player, um, known as Nero, is you know one of the best players this game has ever produced. So he will be annoying with every unit. He won't let it kill for free. He will move. He will make you chase him. And this tiny details can make a huge impact um, in, a, in a long game. The farm here has been destroyed by the Orc Warriors, that's pretty good. Rohan has basically zero settlements, he's gonna use the Rohirrim now for the defensive purposes against the Knights of Condor, who have been badly damaged. That comes the heal from both the players, but it looks like the Rohan player will be able to win this fight. Uh, he's not gonna commit. I think he, I don't know, it was pretty even, but it was, it was a 4v3 situation, maybe he could commit to this. In the meantime, he was creeping this over there. That's pretty good for him. The farm will be taken down right after. The Gunner Knights are chasing down the Rohirrim. Because besides playing your own game, you need to also make sure that you are supporting your ally. Mordor is the true carry in this matchup. The Mordor, which is wealthier, will have a much bigger impact on the game. Rohan is going to be able to take the money from the creep. 
but I think the outpost will be now captured by the model player Krixos. He's gonna, like mentioned before, place the Haradrims on top for the for the self defense of, of the outpost and build two furnaces in the Orc pit. That's gonna be the first outpost captured from Krixos, and that's gonna be the first outpost captured from the model player Dunedain. He's gonna pretty much do the same situation. Uh, furnace, furnace, potentially go for the Orc pit from this location so he can pressure this side over and over again. And if you take a look into the money, Donadan has almost 5,000, so he's gonna get an Asgul very, very soon. And his opponent, um, the other model player, Krixos, is up to 2.5. He has almost 3 power points, could go for the, uh, for the industry. Now, in 2.22, you can also use the industry on your ally, so you can buff up the income from the farm, from the blacksmith, or whatever, which will help your ally quite a bit. Donadan already has used uh, the industry on himself. He's going for an early, early Nazgul, and the Nazgul is going to have a huge impact. And obviously, you know, um, the Nazgul is not going to be as strong as the Witch King, but it's just much, much cheaper, and it will help you very early, right? This Knights of Gondor can just roam around and do what they do. Uh, you will be, with the help of Nazgul, able to keep your settlements up on the field way longer. Rohan is going for the upgrades. He went for his shields um, on his Rohirrim warriors. But also this Mordor over there will get a Nazgul up on the field very, very soon. So going for the upgrades on the horses on this map against Mordor, um, I think it's going to be a little bit too late for this, you know. Because he has 5.6k, he might even skip the Nazgul and go for the Witch King, which, you know, is pretty good. And by the way, with the Nazgul, you can also clean up this Hobbit, which has been blocking this settlement for a very long time. That should definitely not be allowed. Okay, he's gonna go for a Nazgul, knowing or seeing the Rohirrim come. Uh, Eye of Sauron will be used. He's gonna commit to the Haradrim Palace. There comes the heal. I will be moved for more DPS. But the Nazgul, just in the perfect time, the Haradrim Palace, I will give you the resistance to fear. It won't fear your Rohirrim. He knows he can't escape that. He will fully commit, even with the elves, with the swords. And the Aradrim Palace will fall, but in exchange for it, I was on going on cooldown and two Rohirrim warriors with the shields have been taken down. Mordor in the meantime, with the Orc at the bottom side, is pressuring the map over and over again. The Nazgul is finally able to clean up this area, and there is going to be a Faramir who's going to chase down the Nazgul. And very soon, for this Gondor player, we will have the Gandalf, who has been just clicked on. Degolas is going to be the choice as an answer to the Nazgul problem. An outpost captured by Rohan, that's pretty good. And also required, he needs three farms on this outpost. And also the farm has been taken down. Now, in order to kill the Nazgul as uh, Rohan, you can go for Eowyn. But of course, she all alone is not going to be enough to do the job. So you need the assistant of Legolas. So Legolas has to shoot it a little bit and then use the Hawk Strike right after. There comes the... Legolas, he's chunking him a, a really great, but again, what you really need is Eowyn. And Eowyn will get away. Also, oh, for the... But we have the White Wizard. Oh, he's flying in circles. Does Rohan have heal for the guy? No, he doesn't. He's just gonna deny, but not gonna delay. What a nice micro. Yanav is looking for the target. But can't look in the ability. Uh, that's so fun to watch. <laughs> but he's now going to be able to. Oh my god. <laughs> Old man can't attack. And there comes the Easter. He finally after a minute. Of targeting over and over again. Legolas. Um, of course has to be careful. There is now a Gandalf you need to deal with. Industry has been used. By the Mordor players, both of them actually. Again, maybe they don't know that you can also use it on your ally. Um, Rohan though has good map control, right? He has like one, two, three farms, three farms at the outpost. He has a farm over there. So he's in a good spot. There is gonna be a Witch King coming just in time. The Easter is still on cooldown, but the Lightning Sword is available, which Witch King has to respect. Um, they have the shield plus the leadership from Gandalf's armor plus the Witch King now. Coming from Dunedain. Lightning Sword will be placed and used, but it's going to only hit some rune soldiers in the slaughterhouse. The, Naz uh, the Witch King is going to clean up all these Knights of Condor. And it's a Mordor 
a wet dream. Mordor is the, the ruler and early or later you will need something that can shoot. You will need some rangers. And I believe the Rohan is in a better spot economically compared to Gondor. And if he loses this level 3 farm, that's going to be pretty painful. Eowyn might get Easter Eat there. Uh, but I think she won't die in a one shot. Yeah. She won't die in a one shot. It is going to be used. It's a melee fight between Legolas and Gandalf. Does Gondor have heal though? Yes, Gondor has heal. We'll be using it. The Witch King is on the hunt. Legolas is using the Knife Fighter, but he's going to fall. We have pretty much the Mordor Airlines bring you to your, to your final destination, which in this case might be the graveyard. But Gandalf, unlike Legolas, will be able to get away. So Legolas has to be revived now. Again, all of that will cost you time and momentum and also money, obviously. You need to invest now 1600 for reviving your Legolas. And because he was level 3, it's going to take you only 1 minute and 45 seconds. The rune soldiers are tanky, but not tanky enough. Elf has been pleased. We have E power points. Mordor is just ruling. There comes the... Oof. He's targeting something. That's why he's so fast. And that's why also the Witch King from the other person can't, you know, chase him. Whenever you target something, you will uh, make them make the sonic speed available, which will make your flying heroes, you know, made be Nazgul, Witch King, but also eagles fly faster. So when you see a guy, a Nazgul, is chasing your Nazgul, all you gotta do is target something. We have a Mooma kill up on the field. The Great Company has been used. But half of the Mordor base has been already taken down. The knights have to be careful. This one is going to go down. Um, the the Mumai kill is surprisingly tanky against uh, Nazgûl, by the way. He won't fall. Especially when Darkness is available and the Witch King is also there. Uh, and the thing about the Mumai kill is, with, your, with a Nazgûl or Witch King, you cannot target the Haradrims on top of the Mumai kill. So, even though you can't right-click with this unit on a, on a Nazgûl, what you can do is you can choose this person choose this Mumu kill with the other items on top of them and one of your Nazgûls then because you selected your Nazgûl you can right click oh my god what is Gandalf doing there both players didn't pay attention <clears throat> he has the bubble though he can he can oh oh he knew it look when he targets all of them and attacks the Nazgûl the the Haradrims will actually be able to shoot down the Nazgûl um, in the meantime, Rohan is a good time, you know, because all the attention has been now drawn to the top side of the map. And the modern player, Krixus, has to help his ally out. And now they are shooting the Nazgul. As you can see, it deals a significant amount of damage. Um, Ganaf is trying to beat him, but two parts of the wall has been broken already. Now it's a Mordor ROV, so you have not seen this many Nazguls up on the field. And there comes the heal on the Mumma kill. And the Nazgul Witch King has been also healed. Ooh, there comes the... Arrow volley, not arrow. I keep saying arrow volley to the morning arrow. Um, these three farms are producing so much money. Mordor is, I mean, Gondor is obviously no outpost. Um, but he has a couple of knights taking down this outpost over there. Ooh, the Easter though. Heal is going to be used to save the Gandalf. One of the Nazgûl has been taken down. Eowyn is coming. She's going to do her business. Ooh, the woman kill. But the fancy footwork coming in clash from Gandalf, he's also one of the fastest heroes in the game. But nobody can keep up with the speed of a flying hero. Um, and Gandalf is going to get back into the base in a safe spot. And around the value will always have the regeneration. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, the Haradrims, bro. Look, they even slaughtered Faramir. I told you, the Haradrims are popping off. Mumma kill action. What is this Mordor cooking? He's going to go for the troll cage. He has archers. Trolls and Drummer Troll, will they make it there in time? No Rangers yet, but it's about to be changed very, very soon. As another part of the wall has been broken, there is the Witch King buffing up this army a little bit. But there is also this Witch King buffing up this Mumma kills. With the Eye of Sauron, you can see the glow on the Haradrim warriors is looking juice. And now the commitment. They know they want to, they need to kill the Witch King, but there is no resistance to fear without Eye of Sauron. Witch King might commit. Oh, the damage. Ooh, the Mumma kill trample. But luckily, he has a secondary Mumma kill. The Mumma kill is, by the way, looking and going crazy. But there is another trample incoming. The Mumma kill is going 
off-road miles away from the original fight location who, who can stop that but now we have cooking army from uh, rohan remember he has easily reached with theorin and um, has really a lot of money he has plenty of farms outside inside the base even prepared with the wall banner and statue for the worst case scenario it's always great to have a plan b but imagine this army now having the drummer troll sport or the witch king by the way witch king no he didn't die it was a regular nazgul who got killed witch king is just fine and again witch king gives you 50% uh, damage and 50% armor that's the best leadership you can actually get in the game alongside with drummer troll but witch king's leadership also affecting a large area so while theoden needs to be close around this location when the army is here he can stay only here witch kings can stay here and the army can stay here and witch king will still give leadership so the area of witch king is definitely the, the, the largest one okay the witch king is gonna join i believe with the elves and they might now bring the fight to the mordor over there i see one of the mumai kills have been taken down has been taken down now the commitment um the elvin warriors with aragon leadership and theodin leadership and legolas can also give them leadership when he's level five and this outpost is going to be super tricky and super nice for rohan mordor team to have is the commitment oh the, the eowyn couldn't use the ability she got Oh, she's gonna talk one shot oh i think he didn't see it coming and theodin died to the orc archers bro level five orc archer look the damage on the witch king too it's so crazy and the troll is looking like he's healing he's moonwalking and trying to catch up those elves uh, troll can catch up to every infantry unit in the game witch king is gonna make it to the well you can place him next to the well and he will regenerate in the meantime though gondor is going ham on the mordor base action wherever your heart desires it to be the charge takes on cooldown Gandalf is folding up a little bit with him and uh, the Muma kill is still not, not a joke there is only one but darkness is available these ranges are gonna hit like an absolute track as more and more archers are coming the charge deck now is available in beautiful trample and he killed also almost all the rangers now he's gonna go crazy and while he's dead he's gonna kill even more and faramir might be in trouble now he's not gonna go in charge in the meantime mordor is sieging the rohan player while mordor himself at the top side was able to defend himself now he has to help his ally here they have a lot of leadership but remember tilden has been killed before and you need a two minute uh, you need a minute and a four and 45 seconds to get him back on the field the eye of sauron is going to be used the mumma kill is coming from dunadain to help his ally it's a choke point in which drummer uh, i mean the mumma kill can do a lot of stuff eagles are coming to war as they commit on the legolas eagles are dealing crazy damage to the heroes heal is gonna be missed and the mumma kill is looking oh boy holy guacamole mumma kill just slaughtered a huge army the witch king got killed from dunadain that's really unfortunate and it looks like the rohan beast will fall back and forth game great play from the mordor and gondor team and you can see the the decision of going for the drum drama troll was definitely uh, the way to go aragorn the one-man army but also he has his limits one does not simply walk into mordor even when Mordor walks into you, he's gonna leave the game, he's gonna be defeated. And the W, the victory, will be with Pivellini and his ally Crixus. The best rival of Spartacus. Oh my god, the Mumma kill. But look the damage from the ranges inside. Boom, 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 boom. Mo actually did a good job there, in my opinion. Oh, but the rings are hitting so hard, bro. That's unbelievable. I mean, um, like, remember the fight what happened around this location? If there would be a drummer troll sporting the elves, and maybe he didn't have enough elves, maybe like one or two battalions more. Um, it would be a whole different situation and I think there was a game winning fight there at the bottom because it's super close to the castles Whenever whoever wins the fight there can keep pushing forward and because you lost your army you won't be prepared for the upcoming attack right 
And anyways, I, I think it was a really fun and great game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.